It was the most divisive issue in rugby league this year. At last, deep insight into why Josh Alloyer took his controversial stand. You should never be put in a situation where uh, your religious views or your cultural views and um, beliefs um, conflict with your job, like our atheist boys. Um, for, for Easter round, we wanted to wear you know, a Christian jersey and they weren't comfortable in doing that, then it's all, it's all the same, I'll support them. So if you then want people to respect your religious views, does your stance mean you don't then respect their right to be in a homosexual relationship? We still have nothing but respect for people that choose to live that way of life. We, we don't personally want to live that way or endorse it, but at the same time, um, we quietly took our stance. We didn't say anything hateful or, or hurtful. Instead, we were the ones that um, were called everything under the sun. Death threats, my, my family got threats. I got threats about my son. I jumped off social media for a little while just to have a little detox. A lot of people wouldn't know that your older sister is gay. Can you tell me about your relationship with her and I guess what her reaction was when you took this stance. Me and her are like this, and, and she knows I, I love her to bits. And yeah, throughout throughout all of this happening, we did have a chat, and she totally understood where I was coming from. And she rang me up, and she was like, you know, like, how are you going? You're right. Like, it's so crazy. She was like, it's so crazy the way the media's blown this out of proportion. Like, Corey Parker, um, he came and said, like, don't pick and choose. He he hammered us in the media. You run out with your gambling sponsored jerseys in your best sponsored stadium. Like, I would love for him to show me in the Bible where it mentions gambling. Um, it doesn't, uh, nor does it forbid alcohol within itself, but he's an idiot. There's now talk Manly will produce an inclusivity jumper again next year. Will you wear it? So the short answer there is no, I won't. Um, we didn't compromise this year. Well, won't compromise next year or the year after. You know, like, um, difference of opinion um, is not a difference of respect. Emma Lawrence, Nine News.